What is going on everybody? Here's back with another video. I haven't filmed a video in forever. Well, today I have something really cool for you guys. It's something really special. I hope you guys are doing good during this COVID-19 process. I've been home most of the time, but this is the first time I'm actually going out. The weather outside today isn't really that that bad. These fenders are actually turning carbon fiber, which is right there. Hand sanitizer bottle. I feel like a darkish kind of black like that, but it's gonna be full carbon fiber. It's supposed to be high gloss carbon fiber. The mirror is right here, the carbon fiber mirrors and the canards. So let's see how that would match up. And I finally tinted my side markers instead of keeping it as paint. I got rid of the gloss black one because it's been giving me a little, a little too much problems with the paint cracking on the clear coat or chipping on the hood. So I just decided to order a new carbon fiber hood which comes in today. Okay, thank you. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a lot bigger than I actually expected. I expected it to be, I expected it to be in like a smaller box or maybe like a, cr a small crate. We got the rear brakes right here, sea foam to use for like this is the last thing we're gonna use. These are carbon fiber mirrors, and we also now have carbon fiber fenders. So let me take this blanket off and have you guys look. So we've also installed the quick release for the front bumper. Bolt broke, so I can't put it on anymore. And I used to use just zip ties, but now I use this quick release with this cover back on the fender. And I'm gonna just put the GoPro on my head, and that's what's gonna take over the video. This is the GoPro I'll be using. I got the headband on it. It's gonna make everything a lot easier when working with cars because I'll just put this in my head and I can use both hands while working while you guys see what I'm actually doing. So we're gonna open it up. This is gonna be the first time I'm looking at it. It's gonna be the first time you guys are looking at it. Same exact hood as the gloss black one I had on here. All right, guys, the GoPro is set up. I hope you guys can hear me on the GoPro. I gotta take out these metal, like, copper clips right here. I don't know if you guys saw that in the GoPro collection. If not, you guys can see me through the mirror. What's going on, guys? I got all the clips out on this side, so we should be able just to flip it over and to the final point. Carbon creation. Cut it like that. But it was a very expensive hood. It should be really light as well. And let's flip. Mm. Jesus. Powder you could take off. That looks sick. Wow, that's nice. It doesn't do justice. It's not cleaned off yet, but I'm going to clean it off, shine it up, polish it. But wow, it just has all packaging dust over it. Well, I tried pushing it, and it didn't work, so I guess we're gonna start it. 10.25 in the morning. Sorry to my neighbors again. Hopefully this starts. Huh, first try, not bad. The hood on, it looks a lot better in person than it does on the camera. We gotta adjust to finish adjusting it because it is ripping the wrap right here to the fender. We're trying to find a way so it doesn't keep doing that for every time I have to open the hood. We'll see, we'll see. So for this process, we gotta unplug that hose right there. It's a vacuum hose for the brake booster. And then you are gonna put your sea foam, pour it into here and let it suck it up over there. But don't let it suck it up the whole thing. Like don't dip the whole hose into there because then it'll shut off the car and kill the car. That's why you just gotta put a little bit at a time. So I, I gotta test drive it or drive it until all the sea foam is cleared out and clears everything out. It is disgusting though. I gotta clean my exhaust tips too. Wow, this thing looks good. It was definitely not as easy as my hood. No, your hood. All we had to do is. <laughs> With this, I've been working on it since 9 a.m. It is 4:08 right now. Oh, the alignment is perfect here, but I just don't know if we have to adjust it on the other side because the line this pushes against the fender and that clears. But there's a big gap coming from this side where I could fit like my fingers through. And look, it doesn't align up right here, but. You expect an expensive carbon hood to line up so perfectly, but we had so many issues with this, and I don't even want to open the hood to show you guys because it's just such so many issues. I polished it and washed it. You can still see the streaks off it going off the glare, but whatever. We got the mirrors and we got the canards. I'm gonna go take pictures soon, get everything set up, everything's clean, new brakes, and everything, and voila, getting there, getting there. <laughs> 